Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, Chiro Trust member, and this is Bal. And Bal has been a patient here now for the third time. This will be his third visit. He came in here complaining of neck pain, upper back pain, in his mid thoracic spine, cervical thoracic pain going out into his left shoulder, uh, numbness and tingling down in his legs and his feet, left knee pain, left shoulder pain, and tension headaches. And that was on your very first visit. I've adjusted you twice now. Mm -hmm. And would you mind sharing with our YouTube subscribers mm -hmm. how you feel so far on your third um, visit? I think after even the first visit, um, I felt like a new person. Um, I felt like I could stand up straighter. My back wasn't so sore. I actually went to Dallas uh, after my first adjustment. And normally the, the trip would make me have really low uh, back pain along the way. But during the whole time, I was comfortable, really comfortable just seeing the whole, the whole trip. And you're an architect, so you look down a lot yeah, at yeah. your drafting table. Right, right. So your neck is not surprisingly, you've lost the curve in your neck and started going the opposite right. direction. So mm -hmm. we're working on that. So he's still a little sore in his neck, but other than that, I'd say you're about 80% better, wouldn't you? That's good, yeah. Is Definitely. that about right? Yep, that's about right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and today is Thursday, and I have gone through the comments, and I have picked out three of the most intelligent comments that have been made and I also picked out my favorite comment that was made. Uh, LLSI Project says how different are the bone structures between a person with flat feet versus a person with a normal arch and does it affect the foot to be flat or have an arch and the do those patients experience more pain than others? Well, when you have flat feet and you don't have a good arch support, you do put more pressure and stress on the fascia of the feet, which is the muscles and ligaments of the tendons of the muscles in the toe, tarsals and metatarsals. So you get things like plantar fasciitis, but he specifically asked about bone structure. You do put more stress and weight bearing compression stress on the tarsals and metatarsals. So sometimes after a long period of time, those bones will start losing their calcium content and mineral content and get osteoporotic and have stress fractures in them. A lot of people with flat feet get stress fractures over time. It's better to have an arch or a shoe that has a good arch in it, like your shoes have good arch supports in them. Uh, I, I wear these Skechers because they have good arch supports in them. <laughs> and I have had foot pain for a long time. Uh, the next question comes from Jeremy Burke. He says, degenerative disc disease and two back surgeries, no fusion. Is it still safe to get adjusted? Absolutely, positively. We adjust patients in here post-surgically, so long as their surgical time frame is over eight to 10 weeks post-surgery. You wanna let the scar heal up and, and you wanna let the tissues heal up at least eight to 10 weeks. And uh, it's, in fact, we treat people in here with fusions and instrumentation in their cervical spine, their thoracic spine, lumbar spine every single day and you've seen me do that on some of the adjustments. So it is safe to get adjusted once you've had back surgery. In fact, most people that have had back surgery usually have a reoccurrence of back pain above and below the levels of the surgical levels that they had because of adverse fibrotic adhesions and scar tissue formation. But my very favorite comment comes from an a account called Bible Reading. and says, Dr. Johnson has two channels and 100,000 subs between the both of them total. If each subscriber was to create one additional account and subscribe to both channels again, which should easily make up 50 to 100,000 subs five times a week times 30 days. This guy must be a mathematician. <laughs> uh, Five times a day, 30 days, is 1,800 
uh, new subs totaling 48,288, which is more than what we requested. So see, the 500 new subs a day isn't unreasonable if you think like Bible reading. Thank you, Bible reading. I hope people pay attention to that. Um, and we have put the names of these people in the YouTube basket over here that we're going to make a drawing at the very last Thursday of the month. I do want to mention one other of LLSI Project's comments. He said, uh, what kind of... Let me read my own writing here. Oh my God. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. Okay. Here, what's that say? Okay, hold on. What kind of... Oh my goodness. Straight do you use adjusting? What kind of re... What's this right here? <laughs> Reoccurring? Is that what that says? I don't know what you. Yeah, I don't either. know what you said. I know. Okay, so you skip that one. Right <laughs> okay. I'm not typing them. Then I won't be able oh, to answer oh, the also, phone. It says, at what age can you uh, do ring dingers or spinal decompressions on? You cannot do spinal decompressions like I do here uh, with an adjustment type of decompression under any under 17 years of age because the bones are still growing and you have growth plates at that point so all right it's time to get on <laughs> adjustment because he's got to get back to drafting his plans <laughs> so let's check you out here about show him how we help him let's have you flex your head forward and backwards for me please sir and then neutral but we are trying to engage you all more so we really do appreciate you uh getting us more subscribers and sharing our youtube videos on all your social media platforms and getting your friends and families and co-workers and strangers to subscribe to our youtube channel because we're wanting to educate the world about the benefits of chiropractic care and then move to st thomas and do more of the same slide down this way and we'll keep doing videos down in st thomas u.s virgin islands And this is all part of Renee and I's master plan. <laughs> I'm going to train somebody. By the way, I'm looking for a ethical, honest... There, okay. Double dinger today. We should have felt that second one all the way down. There we go. There we go. Good. Okay, I got you. There we go. Drop it in my hand. Yes, sir. Just like that. That's how you put a curve back in somebody. If somebody asked a question, which bird am I on? I was on the C5, C6 lamina on the left, and I was on the C6, C7 lamina on the right. Okay, let's come over here on your tummy now. And the lamina are the joints of the cervical spine, the back of the joints. And yes, I did hit that one. Bounced out. Yeah, well, that's because it's so full of paper. Another question a lot of y'all ask me is how do I determine whether just the lower thoracics on the biophysics table here or over there on the knee chest table. It all depends on an individual's... I know, I need to quit talking. There. The crack addicts get mad. There we go. When I talk and do the same time. But see, I get uh, quite a bit of depth on that adjustment, don't I, Dow? Mm-hmm. You feel that pretty deep when I adjust it right through here? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, 
it really kind of depends on the patient and their structural integrity as well as their biomechanics. Biomechanics is probably the number one thing that uh, changes. If I see starting to uh, get a reversal here or stress in the thoracolumbar region that protrudes backwards, I'll adjust them on the knee chest that's going your back now. But if they have a fairly normal transition between the thoracic kyphosis and the lumbar lordosis, I'll adjust them here on the biophysics table. Slide down this way a little bit. Put your arms out like that. Did you find this on YouTube? Yeah, I did. So you're a crack addict too. Huh? Yep. <laughs> we love all of our crack addicts around the world. There we go. And we're trying to make these videos very educational as well as entertaining for you. And if you have any suggestions for us besides just naked women, <laughs> yeah. I'd be happy to listen. <laughs> it ain't happening. This way. <laughs> <laughs> that only happens after our video. <laughs> then the knee chest table takes on a whole new meaning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You got to cater all kinds of audience, <laughs> all the pervs that are in there watching, oh. the ones who are interested in learning, <laughs> the crack addicts. Okay, let's have you flex forward and backwards, and then neutral. Yep, bus. Look at that, my friend. You're right down the middle everywhere. Yeah. The only thing we're gonna do is accentuate that cervical curve there good oh. okay yeah flex your head forward and backwards again oh yeah it's on a swivel that feel easier mm -hmm. to you? Really easy. Yep. So, what would you tell our YouTube subscribers about your experience here? And if, if you had to tell them one of the best things about advanced chiropractic relief in your experience, what would that be? I would say it's life changing. Life changing. I like that. <laughs> I feel like a new person. Good. Every time I come. Well, thank you for sharing your story with everyone about. Thanks so much. <laughs> this is your Houston chiropractor, also a Chiro Trust member, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see y'all soon.